Donald Trump, not known for his modesty, never stops bragging about the fact that he wrote the art of the deal. It seems that when it comes to his role as commander in chief, he sees himself as almost the great negotiator. And when it comes to North Korea, you could argue that his approach kind of worked. He is a sick puppy. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Since taking office, Donald Trump has played up the so-called threat of another geopolitical rival of America. Threat posed by Iran. Whose chief exports are violence, bloodshed, and chaos. All nations of conscience must work together to isolate Iran. For a minute, it started to look like things were cooling off and maybe talks were on the table. I believe in meeting. I would certainly meet with Iran if they wanted to meet. I'm ready to meet anytime they want to. But Iran's supreme leader wasn't having it. There will be no war, nor will we negotiate with the U.S. It is impossible, but even if someday the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran were to negotiate with the U.S. regime, it would never negotiate with the current government of the U.S. And then there's Turkey and its detention of Pastor Andrew Brunson, who Turkish authorities say was tied to the 2016 coup attempt. Now, Trump says he wants him released. The United States will impose large sanctions on Turkey for their long-time detainment of Pastor Andrew Brunson. This innocent man of faith should be released immediately. I have just authorized a doubling of tariffs on steel and aluminium. With respect to Turkey, as their currency, the Turkish lira slides rapidly downward against a very strong dollar. Our relations with Turkey are not good at this time. But Turkey isn't going to budge, and just like Trump, Erdogan knows how to talk tough. We are partners in NATO, and then you stab your strategic partner in the back. We will do as the law dictates. You cannot simply make Turkey bow down by bossing us around. Meanwhile, Russia is not exactly caving in the face of sanctions. If some ban on banks' operations or on their use of one or another currency follows, it would be possible to clearly call it a declaration of economic war. And it would be necessary to react to this war economically, politically, or if indeed, by other means. And our American friends need to understand this. Let's remember that those sanctions on North Korea were not unilateral. They were actually imposed by the United Nations. But when it comes to the rest of the world, Trump is on his own, and it seems that his reputation as a great negotiator is on the rocks. Caleb Maupin, RT, Washington, D.C.